bangin', muck bang, a muck bangin', muck bang, a we hangin', we bang, a we bangin'. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Yummy Bites TV, okay? <laughs> All right, so y'all, today we are having homemade food, y'all. We are having a homemade pork butt with some um, mashed potatoes. Y'all, in the mashed potatoes, I put, mm, oh my God, my mouth is watering. Um, the, what do you call it? The onion and chive cream cheese. Y'all, these potatoes are so good. It is ridiculous. I have some green beans, some mac and cheese. Yeah, that mac and cheese that I made the other day. Mm -hmm. And some cornbread. And are y'all ready? <laughs> Cause I am. Let's, oh, and y'all, I got my water today. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mm, mm. Delicious. Let's do this. Amen. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I feel like I've been cooking all freaking day. Y'all let me know what y'all eating with me. Are y'all ready for this daggone video? After I film this, because I wanted to coat my stomach, um, I'm going to be filming that video y'all been waiting for. Are y'all ready? Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Y'all, so basically this is a pork roast. Mmm. I made the same way I made um the pork roast that I used to make the dressing for Thanksgiving. Made the same way I just made a roast. Yeah, it's perfect. Mmm. It's so tender. Let me give y'all some. Let me give y'all a yummy bite. Y'all order my chairs today. Mm, so excited. I order them. They're super cute. Mmm. Potatoes and pork butt roast. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Happy Friday. <laughs> y'all, so I guess y'all gonna be getting two videos, or, hmm, I could save this video for Sunday. Couldn't, I could take me a day off. Mmm, that mac and cheese is busting still. Y'all still creamy? So that's my recipe from now on. Mmm. Come on, that green bean. Uh-oh. Mmm. Mmm. Sometimes I like to eat my green beans like this. Mmm. Okay, so. Somebody sent me. <clears throat> this article, y'all. Um, okay, that isn't it. Here you go. Kayla. Kayla B B M S sent me this um, article about, um, it says, Dallas restaurant owner's response to twerking customers goes viral. Okay, so I watched, I had already watched it because everybody been reporting on it. Mm. I need a napkin. Hold on. I should eat first before I start talking about that. I hate it when napkins are in the shot. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Just let me get down with this food. That's what we're going to be talking about, okay? Mm. I have two perspectives. I literally see both sides, y'all. Mm. 
so good. Every time I cook, y'all, I can't believe <laughs> that I've been pumping myself up full of fast food for all of these years. Every time I cook, I think about that. Even though, I'm not saying that I'm never going to eat fast food again, but cooking at home is going to be my main thing. Okay? I'm going to cook more than eating out. Mmm. Y'all yeah, remember when I told y'all that, um, Stay 48, when I had that, um, King Crab mac and cheese, remember that? And I told y'all that the consistency was like, like the texture was gritty. Um, actually I called and I told them about that. And they gave me a gift certificate, right? So, I'm gonna be able to go back. And I want to try that mac and cheese again. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, they get it right this time. But the manager told me that basically he feels like the chef must have overcooked it because that's what happens. Excuse me. Um, it gets gritty when you overcook it. But when I, I literally, the next day I believe, believe it was, I reheated it. And y'all, it was nothing but oil. I was like, what is going on? Like, when I reheated my mac and cheese, I didn't have any oil. Like, And I'm like, what was, were they using real cheese? Like, I just wonder what that is. Because it wasn't cheesy. It was, it was like a bunch of oil. Mmm. 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 I love cornbread. Mmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be eating there again. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to get that macaroni and cheese again, but I'm going to try something else besides the steak, you know? I want to eat at Roof Chris too, y'all. Like, I have to eat there before I die, you know? Not that I'm getting ready to. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I want to eat at um, Ocean Air. Mmm. That was just better than what I thought it was going to be. It was so good. Yum. Y'all came through, Detroit. What's the mother flipping deal? Michigan, period. Like, y'all came through on the video. I I didn't know so many of you watched. Like, wow. Mm. <clears throat> that video needed to be made. <laughs> Y'all came through. Like, y'all came through more than any other city that I've ever featured. Excuse me. Featured on my channel. I'm like, dang. They in this thing. Mmm. This is comfort food. Like, what is comfort food for y'all? Let me know in the comments. Comfort food is food that makes you feel comfortable, honestly. I think that's what it is because why was why would people call it comfort food? Like It makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel at home. You know, all warm and cozy on the inside. 
Mm. That's what this made me feel like. Oh yeah, I'm back on my cooking game. <laughs> I think I'm back to where I used to be because y'all, I had lost it, honestly. I lost my skill. I don't suggest anybody who cooks, who know how to cook, to ever like stop cooking for fast food. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Cause you will lose it, honey. Well, you might not, I don't know, but I did. How about that? I did. I can't get on back though. Mm. I put some lemon juice in these um green beans, baby. Y'all I brought down both of my batteries. <laughs> oh, and somebody was asking me, um, was I gonna um you know be, uh, keep reading the comments? Yes, I am. But I'm not going to read them every video. I'm not going to do it every video. Um, because it's just not going to be possible every video. If I have time at the end of my video, well then I will. Like yesterday, I probably should have yesterday. But um, yeah, you just have to watch the videos to see. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want... Um, y'all to always know exactly what I'm going to do, you know, you got to leave a little bit of mystery there and stuff gets old when you do it all the time, like every day at that same time, it, you know, it gets old. Mmm, mmm, I'm making cheese. So, let's talk about it, honey. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to read this article, and then I'm going to give my, um, oh, shoot, she just sent me. Okay, anyway. A Dallas restaurant owner is getting both praise and blowback for his reaction to a group of customers twerking in his restaurant. The incident happened over the weekend at True Kitchen. It's called True Kitchen Plus Cocktails. That owner, Kevin Kelly, just opened in August? What? In downtown Dallas. I didn't know it was a new restaurant. Wow. In the video that was posted on Twitter and quickly went viral, Kelly addressed the whole restaurant and stopped the music after a group of women stood up on their chairs and were twerking against a glass wall. Okay, so... She only sent me that part, um, but that's not all of, you know, what happened. Apparently, excuse me, he had already asked them to stop twerking, <clears throat> and they kept doing it. So, I guess he felt like the last, you know, the last time he, he you know, said something, you know, he needed to put a couple of curse words in there <laughs> to make folks understand That's what he did. And he said, if you keep doing it, you can get out of his establishment, which he has the right to say. He said, he don't need, what did he say? I don't need your money. I did this, you know, so we can have somewhere nice to come to eat. You know, he was talking about black people. But that's all I saw in there. Um, But I know his restaurant is not just for black people. But, you know, that's what he had in mind when he when he came up with the concept for his restaurant. Um 
So, I saw the video. And honestly, y'all, who goes to a restaurant and starts twerking while people eating? I don't care what kind of music they're playing. You know, I know sometimes you just, you know, you just gotta, mm, you know what I'm saying? But why you just can't do that in your seat? Oh, oh, you know, why you can't do that? Why you gotta get up on your chair and start dancing? I think, I would've felt the same way. I don't care what music was playing. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, I think it was Body Yada Yada. <laughs> Who was playing? <laughs> so I understand the need to want to dance, you know, but not at the right. You eat and people are eating, sitting down at tables eating. Um, you know, and people were saying, if you read Ruth Quit Chris or, you know, a place that's not predominantly black, you wouldn't have done that. And I believe that's true. People wouldn't have, you know. I feel like because it, it all all um that was there, it was a lot of black people there. It was really nothing but black people. I feel like um because of that, you know, maybe they felt more comfortable to do something like that. Um, no. On the other hand, Why were they playing Megan Thee Stallion in that restaurant? If it's not like a, you know, if there's no dance floor. Or, um, now I don't know if they have a bar or not. I don't know. Um, I didn't research that far. Um, but, because there are restaurants that, you know, have a bar and a bit of a dance floor. And they play that kind of music. And people get up and they go, you know, to the dance floor and dance while other people at, are at tables eating. But I don't think that's what this was. And the owner had already asked politely. And I believe even before the owner came and asked politely, um, uh, some of the employees had already asked. He sent some of the employees out to ask for them to stop. They wouldn't stop. Um, you know what I'm saying? He got mad. It's his establishment. He put a lot of money into it. That's what he said. I'm sure he did. It's in downtown Dallas. Anything downtown, anywhere, you're going to pay some money to get it, you know, built. You're going to pay a lot of money for, um, you know, the rent if he's, you know, renting. So, you know. I don't know. I, I I wouldn't have stood up in my chair and started twerking. How embarrassing. Like, I wouldn't have done that. You know, it don't matter what kind of music. That's, like I said, though, if it was my jam. But sometimes, y'all, we just can't help it. We, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. We just can't help it. We got to bust a move. You know, <laughs> I remember me and my girls, we used to hang out. And we'd be going somewhere, you know, and we'd have to have, you know, our music jam and all that and stuff. And if we would like stop at a at a um at a red light, our jam was on, we get out, we do our little dance, you know, outside the car, yeah, in front of everybody that stopped there to stop light. Sure would. But we'd be on our way like to the club or to a party or something like that, you know. And that's that probably wasn't the place or the time to do that. But we did it, you know. Um, so I do understand the need to, to you know, do a two-step. <laughs> <laughs> but not what I was eating. No. That's a no-no. So I don't agree with that at all. I don't care what kind of music they was playing. Now... You can play jamming music at your establishment. But music like that, you should expect people to start dancing to it, honestly. Body, yada, 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 yada. Like, who 
who can sit there and eat while body yada yada is playing? Come on. Like I said, even though I wouldn't have done it, but people do it. <laughs> they do. Period. Her. Okay. <laughs> About that. Some dude in a wheelchair, I don't know his name, but he went viral for saying that. Purr. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my God. He's hilarious. Hilarious. Now everybody is on TikTok using that hashtag. Mm. Woo. Y'all, my headband is sliding. <laughs> I bet y'all like, yeah, me your headband. There. Sorry. That must be sliding too. It would have been in my plate. Mmm, cornbread. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And yeah, y'all, I already know I have two starches in my pipe. It's all right. We're going to live. I did it because I wanted to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to coat my stomach even more. You know? Mmm! Y'all. I bought that douce. And it wasn't cheap. Okay? But they told me. I said. I went in the specs. I said. Where's the douce? Um. Um. It's behind the counter. I'm like, oh, God. I said, it's expensive, huh? And he was like, um, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, it's expensive. But, yeah. It was 50 bucks. It wasn't that expensive, but that is kind of expensive. And I got some um, Crown Royal Salted Caramel. Have y'all ever tried that? It's so good, y'all. Oh, my God. Just by itself. Just sip slow, you know? Mmm. If you know, you know. So good. Mm -mm. These green beans are full of juice. Mm. I can't believe I almost ate all of it. I ate all the meat. So yeah, I returned that crazy wig that I bought from Amazon. I can't believe they sent me something like that, y'all. It was all ate up. Like they had overprocessed the um like blonde part of the wig. They overprocessed it. It looked like rats had been eaten out of the wig. There was short hair sticking everywhere. It was terrible. And it was literally so easy to return it. All I had to do was go to the closest UPS and return it. I didn't even have the box no more, y'all. Because I don't return wigs, ever. But I knew I had to return that one. Mm-mm. Like, I, they had the audacity to send me something like that, y'all. It was, it was terrible. If you want to see it, I showed it before I um, returned it in the vlog. Oh, y'all, I'm doing Vlogmas, so make sure y'all follow me over on my Yummy Bites TV behind the scenes channel for Vlogmas. I'm a little behind, but it's all good. We need to go in here and put that tree up. Um, I was looking for lamps today 
and I was reading the reviews on, um, on and I want to order it on Amazon because I want it to come super duper fast and I want free shipping, okay? Um, I was reading the reviews and y'all, I mean, everybody always has something to say about one that I really, really liked. So I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I'll be looking again tonight. Hopefully, I'll be able to look tonight. And hopefully, I'll be able to edit a vlog and put it out tonight, y'all. If y'all ain't going crazy with these daggone questions. Mm. I'm done. I'm going to overstep myself. Mm. Do y'all let me know what y'all think? Would y'all want people standing up on your chairs? That <laughs> you bought and you just opened your restaurant. And it was like blood, sweat, and tears trying to open up that restaurant. You broke. You trying to make money and people standing on them chairs that you bought. Putting their hands on that glass that you paid for. Honey. Mm -mm. People probably would never understand unless it was their establishment, you know? But I know most of y'all would not want anybody doing that in y'all's restaurant, especially if it's not built like that. But again, y'all probably wouldn't be playing Megan the Stallion in your restaurant either. Most people, it, like restaurant music is like, you know, jazz, you know, you, unless you're at the club. You know, you have to play appropriate dining music. It don't have to be classical or, you know, turn on 99.1, 102 even. You know what I'm saying? 102 at night, you know? But, um, or Spotify, like find a station or something, but don't play club music at a dining spot when you want people to sit down and eat. So, yeah. But yeah, like I said, y'all let me know how y'all feel. I would love to know. <laughs> I would love to know. Mm. I didn't know he had just opened up his restaurant. I did not know that. I can see where that passion is coming from. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Jesus Louise. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, oh, make sure y'all follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, y'all, my Instagram is 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 growing. I'm like, I wonder why. Like, all of a sudden, <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, nobody. Uh, email me about the custom curtains. Does no one know anyone who does custom curtains? We want to um, get some custom curtains for Jaden. Um, we want the Pingu cartoon. We want the Pingu cartoon curtains for Jaden. Does anybody know anybody who does custom curtains? Email me. My email is in the description box, at the bottom of the description box. Um, and what else? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey, hey. I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You here? Bye, y'all. I was going to say, bye, y'all. <laughs>